So I like to brush this part up. Channel again if you're new. And if you stick to the end of the video, thank you. For people thinking that I'm dirty or something. Why are you brushing your lock? Why are you brushing your locks? It's about time. It's about time. So proud. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my world. I am Tita. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about, not even talking about, I'm going to be showing you how it is that I moisturize my locks, how I keep them hydrated throughout the week and throughout every day, and how you can too. So... Without further ado, let's get right into it. So to moisturize my hair, I will either use rosemary water or this mixture right here when I don't have rosemary water. So this is just spring water, leave-in conditioner, and a few drops of oil. And the other thing is rosemary oil. This right here is like the holy grail of hair growth. Like this makes my hair grow crazy, like crazy. This is homemade my sister makes these oil and they're like the best thing that ever happened to me it's like if your edges are thinning out or something this is what you need so i use these two things together or this or the rosemary water and i just apply it to my hair the oil i only use it once a week for the most part but the water mixture i use this on a daily like to hydrate my hair and to style my hair before i style i make sure i wet it up with this that way i don't have any kind of breakage and things like that so let me show you how it is that i take my locks from this dryness to moisturize I start in the front i start with my roots always especially when i don't have a retwist when i have a retwist i usually do my ends first but since I don't have a retwist, I just do my roots and then I work my way down to my to my ends and the rest of my strand. So you gotta make sure that they are really, really saturated in this water mixture, especially now that it's summertime and it's a hundred plus degrees in Texas. The heat will definitely damage your hair, dry it out. And especially me, since I have color on my locks, I have to work a little harder to keep them together. So this is how usually I go through every strand. I'm keeping it in real time, that way y'all can see. So I make sure I wear my edges, the back, and I'm going th through it with my fingers to make sure I separate them and they all get wet and coated. So just like that this is only the water mixture and you can already see like the difference i mean of course they're wet so they're gonna be down but this is dried and this is wet <laughs> okay, so i done did the whole entire head and I make sure I lift it between my locks and wet it because I have really thick hair. So just from the outside, it wouldn't reach that. It wouldn't reach that. So I went ahead and did that. So now for the oil part, I like to put this directly on my scalp. Directly on my scalp. Not too much, just enough. And then I really just do it all over put drops all over my head to make sure I cover everything and put it on my edges need my edges and then once that's that I just rub it in for a few seconds give my hair a good massage this is my favorite part about this because I get to massage my scalp. Rub the oil in real nice and slow in circle of motion, stimulate my blood flow to my scalp. Do the same thing with my edges. So I give it 
not too much. Pray your hands to apply. And then I go ahead and brush it in. And I didn't get the ones under, so now I'll do this part. Same thing, a little bit on my hands. So they're all coated and I'll just run my fingers through them. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. Okay, I added to both sides, but since I have um, blonde or color on my locks, I will go ahead and I do another round. So I do double, focusing on the bleach or dyed parts only this time. Because again, I live in Texas and it's mighty hot. And I'll pour a little bit on my hands to make sure they do not break off. And then that is it for this side. That's it for that side. Now we're gonna do it to this side. Again, focusing on only my bleach parts. Looking at my hair, sometimes I just can't believe that my hair is really this long. Like, I always go back and think about how I started, like the first day of me having locks, you know? Like, dang, even that first year, I'm like, dang. I was just just watching my one year anniversary lock, my my one year lock anniversary video um, that I have on my channel. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. But it was like from two years ago and you know I got oil on my shirt. You know that's not gonna come off. Um, but I was just watching. I was just like, dang, my locks were so so short, and I was just so proud, like so proud. <laughs> but now I'm really 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 proud because dang, like they came a long way. I've came a long way. We've grown together. Okay. Add over to this part. And like I said, I apply, I apply oil to my scalp once a week, well, to my locks once a week. Especially that I did like three layers of oil. Now I definitely don't need to apply any more oil because that brings me dangerous and build up. Cause I, for a long time, I was so confused on why I have so, I keep getting dangerous, I keep getting dangerous, especially after I just get a fresh retwist. That's probably the most annoying thing for me. When I first get a retwist and I put oil on my scalp and every, every day or every other day, and my scalp will be like white, like it'll be itchy, it'll be flaky, like it'll just be so bad that I can't even keep my lock style or my retwist for more than a week because I'm like, dang, my hair is white, this is embarrassing. Like, let me wash my hair because people, th before people think that I'm dirty or something like, <laughs> but I came to the conclusion that I was over moisturizing my scalp. You know, I don't need that most oil, that much oil because our hair, releases natural oil on it on their own right so i was really just clogging my pores which was slowing down your hair growth my hair growth it was slowing down my hair growth and i got hella build up that i couldn't even get rid of unless i washed my hair all over um so yeah i learned that once a week is more than enough especially doing it the way i just did it so once i do my hydrating and all the extra stuff that you just watched me do i like to brush the top of my hair just like this this helps also if i'm about to do a style but right now i'm not i'm just gonna wear my hair down today but i like to brush my locks no, I don't do it every day, but I brush my locks like once a week. This is for lint. In case you get lint and stuff in there from your pillows, clothing, really being outside, things can get caught in your locks really easily. So I like to brush them once a week when I do my moisturize, like moisturization. 
and make sure I just brush them to get anything that's stuck in them out. This part is really soothing. It's crazy because you're like, why are you brushing your why are you brushing your locks? Because like I just said, I got something I get stuck stuff stuck in them and they need to be cleansed. It's like a I know you I need a detox. I do need a detox on my locks, but not a not desperately like they are okay right now. I don't have build up or nothing on them, but I still want one because I haven't had one this year and it's about time. It's about time. Make sure I brush, brush the back of my head. Let me show you the back of my head. Can I see? Well, I'm not just... Okay. Just to make my head. So I like to brush this part up. And no, no, no. Oops, I'll get back in stop. And that is the entire process. This takes like 10 minutes total because of the brushing, but super easy and effective. But I'm about to get out of here and I just wanna say thank you for watching and welcome to my channel again if you're new. And if you stay to the end of the video, thank you. And you are part of my world, but I will be back in a few days. See you later.